This is the concept circle. It is a framework that will help you identify and diagnose which parts of your image are not working so that you can fix them and have a successful image. A quick example before we dive into the details. Let's say I want to communicate the concept of being free from others' control and being independent. I'm going to use word lists and mind maps to explore the concept. As I'm doing this, I start to explore the phrase not tied down, which makes me think of flying, which leads me to birds as symbols of the concept. So I'll list a few elements that I'll include in this illustration. Bird, branch, cloud, sky. Now I'm going to compose those elements. Quickly knocking out a number of compositional sketches allows me to choose the best one suited for the message and execute it. I've got near infinite options that I can choose when it comes to style. I'm going to go with this stained glass style. Now I'm going to check the image and see if it communicates what I want to communicate. I don't think this is really talking about freedom or independence. So I either have a problem with my elements, my composition, or my style. And in this case, I don't think I have the right elements and the style feels a little bit off. I think a bird can symbolize freedom and independence, but I would need to show some sort of oppression or control. And so adding an open or broken bird cage that the bird is escaping from rather than a branch. Because the elements changed, I'd be back to the drawing board on the composition, and I might find a more appropriate style, like something that's a bit more loose and freeform like this graphite and watercolor. If you give an artist an idea, he's going to want a glass of milk. This works with any type of visual communication, including, but not limited to, Graphic design, illustration, animation, film, photography, typography, posters, postcards, websites, bus wraps, billboards, storyboards, board shorts, animated shorts, shirts, ads, basically anything that you can see. Any type of visual communication where you have a story, creative brief, campaign objectives, a message, target audience, or just something that you want to say can benefit from this deconstructive process to ensure the components of your image are supporting and not detracting from your message. So here's a quick recap. The intended concept is the communication, the mood, the message, the emotion, the vibe, or the idea. The elements are the symbols and subjects of your concept, the things in the image. The composition is the arrangement of those elements. The style is the execution of that composition. And finally, we're back to the concept, which is what's being communicated by the combination of the elements, composition, and style. So here's how the concept circle works to ensure that the image you create is communicating what you want to communicate. You are going to start with a concept. What is it that you want to say? Who are you talking to? Be descriptive. What emotions do you want to convey? How do you want people to feel when they view your work? What do you want them to do when they view your work? How do you want them to think? Now explore these different descriptive words with mind maps, word lists, free writing, and you'll start to develop the elements that you want to use in this image. List those elements, their actions, their associations with each other. You may want to do a few iterative sketches of these elements to get a feel for their general shape and what is iconically visible about them. Now you're going to play with the arrangement of these elements in your compositional sketches. Play with the size, placement, order, camera angle, depth, and other types of design principles. Think proximity, alignment, repetition, contrast, those types of things. You are creating the hierarchy of the image, or in other words, the flow of the viewer's eye. Do not skip this stage. Nail the composition in the thumbnails. It is the single most skipped stage by beginners. After you have a good composition, you're going to move on to style. The visual choices that you make in the execution of your composition will determine the style. What is your lighting? What types of tools are you using? How are you going to employ your color schemes? What are the visual rules of this image? What are you going to abstract? How are you going to draw the viewer's eye towards certain things and away from other things? What are you going to add, eliminate, exaggerate, and simplify to achieve a level of abstraction that communicates your concept? So. You have your intended message, the things in your image, the arrangement of those things, and the visual choices that you've made in the execution of that arrangement. Now you ask yourself, does this image communicate what I want it to communicate? You can even ask other people what they think it means. What is the mood? What are the ideas or the concepts? How does it make you feel? And here's the tough part. 
If it doesn't communicate your intended concept, then you have a problem with your elements, composition, or style. Now you need to deconstruct. Look at each component individually, trying to ascertain if it is the thing causing your problem. This is diagnosis. Are these the right elements? Do the things that you chose symbolize, represent, allude to, or otherwise help communicate your concept? Do any of these elements have an unintended meaning that's distracting from your message? Are the elements harmonious with each other, or are they conflicting in a way that's distracting from your message? Is the style that you chose in line with your concept? Are other works in this style used to communicate similar themes to your concept? Are there more appropriate styles that have been codified in line with your message? If you are attempting a juxtaposition of style and message, is it obvious? Is the contrast obvious enough? Are you using the right tools? Are you using them well? Is the craftsmanship of the execution helping or hindering the concept? Finally, and this is where most beginners fail, have you truly thought out your composition? Are you following basic design principles? Is the proximity of your elements communicating the strength or weakness of their relationship to each other? Is the hierarchy of your image what it should be? Is your focal point what you want it to be? Do you have enough value contrast? Are there any distracting tangents or trap spaces? Can you think of other angles, placement, blocking, changes in size, rotation, position, depth, or order of any of these elements that would help communicate your concept better? Now, fix those things, and then check to see if the fixes got you closer or further away from your concept. Then continue to deconstruct, diagnose, fix, and check until the final work communicates your intended concept. As you grow as a creative and get more work under your belt, you will sharpen your instincts and go through this process more in your sketchbook and storyboards during the pre-production, while significantly reducing the amount of work that you'll have to redo later. A final word of warning, do not fall prey to the trap of making something and then pretending like whatever it happens to communicate is what you intended in the first place. Many students randomly make things and then invent their objectives after the fact. This might work in class, but it does not work in the industry. You will be hired to solve very specific marketing problems. The objectives of your message and audience should drive the rest of the decisions that you make in the creative process. This concept circle is a framework to help you do just that. Go make stuff.